about the fact that your opponent hasn't played for basically three weeks? What kind of a situation? I don't know what to think about that, and I don't need to think about it much. You know, that's that's their deal. Uh, you know, I and whatever that means, it, it for us, our, it's all about our preparation and what we need to do. And the only thing about it is we don't have a lot of information for this time of the year. You know, they've only played two games. It was a while back. Who knows what they've been working on or where they're going with some of their stuff. So we'll just have to get prepared for a, a variety, I suppose. What's your impression of their quarterback on tape, Connor? We, we liken him to Travis Wilson. We think he's a good player, good thrower. He's been very productive throwing the ball in the two games they've had this year. So uh, we think he's a good player. Coach, if you liken him to Travis Wilson, do you think he's going to be running the ball a little bit more too like Travis did? I don't know. They really like to throw it. I know that. So, you know, you have to be prepared for it all. One of the guys that's throwing it to, the guy that's throwing it to, Paul Richardson, like, he's yeah. a heck of a player. Right? He is. You know, he looks like a polished player. We think he must be very, very smart, aware receiver. One of the positions that doesn't get a lot of ink is the uh, long snapper. Yeah. And you've got a situation this week. Talk about that, what your plan is. Well, you know, it's very unfortunate Mike Morovic, uh hurt his knee on that play when he was trying to stop and, and committed a penalty by being too close. and. Now we know why he couldn't stop. He didn't have a knee. <laughs> and uh, so he's getting surgery. And we'll ha we have two guys here we think will do a good job. Harrison Linsky and Andrew Mon. Uh, they've, they've appeared consistent, sharp in practice. So we'll, we'll go with those two guys. Can you just talk about the importance of that position? It's kind of overlooked, but a lot of coaches say that that can really make a record game. Oh, absolutely. You know, it, nobody knows who that guy is until the ball sails over somebody's head. You know, that's the, that's the reality of it. And that's why they'd like to uh, kind of remain in the background, you know, nobody talking about them. And, and uh, that means they're doing a good job. So, and Mike Morovic has been one of our most consistent guys. We've been blessed with really good snappers, Marcus Perry before Mike. And uh, I think these two guys are talented and they've been working hard and and uh, Harrison Linsky's been with us a while. Mon, I wish you we could wait a year for him, but uh, he'll probably do our long snapping, and uh, Linsky will do our short snapping in the game. Field goals. Can you talk about the first four games with John Daniel, how consistent he's been? You've coached a lot of college quarterbacks. How would you rate this four-game stretch? I think it's been outstanding. You know, lots of, uh, lots of confidence going on here and, and building, and uh, I think he's, He's just made good choices. He's he's gotten rid of the ball uh, quickly and made plays. He's thrown the ball away at the right times. Lots of lots of good football by that position. I mean, last week was hard. Lots of pressure. Eighty percent of the plays were blitzes. Uh, he throws 55 balls with no interceptions and gets sacked once. And a lot of those sacks were avoided because he got rid of the football. Like what about uh, Rommel uh, Manuel stepping in? Is he, he going to be the starter? Yeah, Rommel's going to start this week. He is. Uh, he's been very, very impressive from the spring practice and had a real good fall camp. Uh, was a very viable competitor for the starting spot, really. And uh, and then when when uh, given the opportunity, went into this last game and really made some impressive physical plays. What uh, is, what does Joel need to do or? Oh, Joel's a good football player, you know, so we, we've got a situation where we have two younger players in our program that, that both are good players, and so it's just a matter of levels of where they're at. Joel, Joel just like everybody out here, needs to improve. You know, everybody needs to get better. Do you think DJ is getting his, uh, his game feet back under him? Yeah, I do. I think that each game it's going to be better and better for him. Colorado's D coordinator, you've been Kent Bear, familiar yeah. with his approach, very sound, a lot of great defenses through the years. Yeah, he's a good football coach, knows a lot of football, and w whenever you're playing against him, you know you're going to – and that's what Colorado looks like to me is a really sound football team. Coach, to put it back over to Sean and his success as of late, do you think that um, the play action that he's become so good with, is that going to lose some of its effectiveness if the runs stay on the low side? <laughs> That's a great point. Uh, I, we, we do a lot of that regardless of the run fake for different – we try to 
as you do pass routes, you change up protections and different run actions give you different kinds of protections. And that's as valuable as the run action itself, the different protection. We would like our run action to look like a run and to make them honor the run, but uh, uh, so we would like to run the ball better. Coach, what's your optimism level on some of the O-line this week um, and then moving forward after Colorado and the bye week? You're I don't know what to say yet. I, you better give me a day or two before I know very much more. It's uh, how did Harlow look in this first? Uh, pardon me. How did Harlow look in this first time out? He he battled in there. You know he is. Uh, you know, the thing that we have to uh, avoid with the new linemen that we have playing is assignment mistakes as much as anything. So that's that's our biggest area with all those new guys that are in there is that uh, they got to get their assignments down. And, and and then, of course, then it comes down to performance, but you at least got to get on the right guy. So Mitchell's still day to day? Kind of yeah, absolutely. You have an update on Storm? Uh, only that he's really progressing well. Uh, chance he could be cleared by mid to late week. I uh, still don't know even if he's cleared if we'll play him this week. Um, in terms of the mistakes you asked you up to the game, what you were most concerned with, you said yes uh, to all those things. Now that you had a chance to watch the field, easily correctable? Does it just come down to discipline? Oh, you design? know, well, it's easily cor correctable if guys learn what they do. It doesn't sound that hard to me. Uh, but it, it's... Uh, you know, it, and it's easier said than done because it's not just only assignments, it's adjustments, you know, because, you know, you've got this guy unless he does this and then you've got to do that and then you got to do it in the blink of an eye. And that's where the inexperience hurts you. You know, they got guys aren't used to seeing that at game speed. Uh, yeah, we can we can we can get this stuff fixed and play better than we did for sure. The false starts, you know, just start there and we are, we cut our penalties in half. So we, we can get a good start on that.